Hello everyone. Today we are going to see matrix with repeated eigen values and corresponding eigen vectors. So here we have matrix A of order 3. For finding eigen values, first we will find characteristic matrix, and that is given by this matrix A minus lambda i. Here A is given matrix, and i is the identity matrix. Of same order and lambda is the scalar, so we will find this matrix here. Now we have to find characteristic equation, and that equation is given by the determinant of this matrix is equal to zero. So we will find. Characteristic equation for this given matrix. So we will put determinant of this matrix is equal to zero. Now this is the determinant which we can solve by expanding by any rows or any columns. But we will use this result for finding characteristic equation or matrix of order three. Characteristic equation is given by where we know the values of x and x three x three. So we will put all these values and we will find characteristic equation. So we have this is yes one sum of diagonal element. So we will write sum of this one. Then we have x two sum of minus of diagonal element and we have x three determinant of given matrix. So we will put all these values here. So on simplification, we got this is this characteristic equation. Yes. So we have this cubic equation. Yes. Right. So we have used this result for finding characteristic equation of matrix of order. Three here. Now we will find the roots of this equation. This is cubic equation. Now we can check that lambda is equal to one. Is the one root of this equation? When we put lambda is equal to one, this equation gets satisfied. So lambda minus one is the one factor. In another factor we can find that is by simplicity division. We know how to proceed for this one. So we will so we got this factor by synthetic division. So this is a quadratic equation, and we know we can factorize this as a this lambda minus one and this lambda minus seven. So by putting all these equals to zero, we get this lambda is equals to one. Again, lambda is equal to one and lambda is equal to seven. These are the characteristic roots, right? And this is we have to call eigen values. Now, for this eigen values, we have to find corresponding eigen vectors. So we can check that we got here repeated eigen values. We have lambda is equal to one this is two times. So these are the repeated eigen values. So here we have to find eigen vectors which are linearly independent to each other. So to find eigen vector, we should know this. To find eigen vector, we should have this matrix equation a minus lambda i x is equal to zero. Right? Where we know that this x is equal to this vector x y z. This is column vector, which is which will be our required eigen vector, and this zero is here, this null vector, null matrix, right? So we have to put these values and this matrix E minus lambda i, which we have found this is earlier, this matrix here, 
right? So we will put this matrix. So we got this matrix equation by putting this eigen values we will get corresponding eigen vectors. So first we will find eigen vector for lambda is equal to 7. So we will put lambda is equal to 7 in this matrix equation. So we will put lambda is equal to 7 in this matrix equation. So we will get this. Now we got this matrix equation. So we will simplify for this getting the system of equation. So we will simplify this. Now this is the system of homogeneous equation. And we have to solve this is by framework rule for getting this value of variable x, y, z. So we will consider the first two equations. We know the Kramer's rule, we have discussed that in last lecture. So we will find values of this variable. When we have to find the values of this variable x, we have to write down the coefficient, remaining coefficient y and z in determinant. So we will have this is here 1, 1 and this minus 4 and 2. Next we have to write here minus y. In denominator, we have to write in any coefficient, this minus value 1, 3, 2, 3, right? Then again z, for z we have to write all these remaining coefficients of x and y. So we will have this is minus value 1, 2, minus 4. And we have this proportional constant k. We know that k belongs to this r except 0, right? So we will simplify this now here. Yes, so we can say that these are the multiples of 6, so we can cancel out this 6 here. So, so we will have x upon 1, then this is y, then this 2, then z upon this 3, right? Yes. Then we will have this is x is equal to what here? x is equal to this is 1 k and z is equal to this is twice k. So this is y is equal to twice k and this z is equal to here twice k. So we have this eigen vector by putting all this value of variable. We have this is k twice k and this is twice k. Right, we can take this is k outside. So we know this is 1, 2, 3. This eigen vector, column vector, we have. So for k is equal to 1, we have this eigen vector. Right, so this is our first eigen vector for this lambda is equal to 7. Right, k is a proportional constant. We can take any values of k here. So we need eigen vector in its simplest form. So we have taken k is equal to 1 here. So in this way we got here first eigen vector. Similarly we have to find next eigen vector for repeated eigen values. So we will put lambda is equal to 1 in matrix equation. So when we put here lambda is equal to 1 in this matrix equation, we got this matrix equation. On simplification we will get this equation. Okay, now we can check that. This is a one common equation. This is x plus y plus z is equal to 0. Right? Yes. So we have this equation x plus y plus z is equal to 0. Now, we have to find eigen vector for this lambda is equal to 1. Right? So, now here we have to remember that when we find eigen vectors, that eigen vectors are linearly independent, right? So when we have to find this eigen vector, we have to find two eigen vector for this lambda is equal to one. So what we have to do for finding independent eigen vectors first, we will put here this x is equal to zero. 
for getting first eigen vector so we will have here this y plus z is equal to zero now when we put here y is equal to one so we will have this z is equal to this minus one so in this way we got here next eigen vector which is here zero one and minus one right now we have to find next eigen vector for this lambda is equal to one so now what we will do here we will put another variable as a zero because we want linearly independent eigen vector and when two vectors are linearly independent when these two vectors are not scalar multiple of each other right so we have to put y is equal to zero so then we will have this is x plus z is equal to zero so we can take any values of a variable one variable here so we will have this x is equal to one when you put x is equal to one we will have this is z is equal to minus one so next eigen vector we will get here this is x three we will call x three so what is here we have put x is equal to one y is equal to zero and z is equal to minus one so we got this next eigen vector so now we can check that these two eigen vectors are linearly independent of each other that means we cannot express this any of the vector in terms of other vector by scalar multiplication so these two vectors are linearly independent right we can't express this x two as a scalar multiple of this one right and vice versa so these are the two eigen vector This for lambda is equal to one. Here, yes, these are the linearly independent eigen vector for this lambda is equal to one. So in this way, we got three eigen vector for this eigen values, right? So yes, we got this eigen vector x one. We can check this is here. These three vectors are linearly independent, right? So thus we have found here repeated eigen values and corresponding eigen vectors. So for this, for finding eigen values, what we have done first, we have found characteristic equation. Then, then we have found rules of this equation, and we have put all these rules in this matrix equation. we have find eigen vectors only we have to remember that eigen vectors are linearly independent of each other right so in this way we have find eigen values and eigen vectors so this is the required method for finding eigen values and eigen vectors thank you